Hi everybody, it's Kristen and I have the long-awaited, much-anticipated ride or die tag, or maybe it wasn't, I don't really know. If you guys are not familiar with this tag, this was started by Jacqueline Hill eons ago. I do mean eons. I think it might be more than a year. I don't really know. All I know is that I never did it and I part of it is because I just feel like sometimes, you know, my ride or dies in my head sort of change as we go along and anyway I just I decided that I was going to sit down and make a list and these are my ride or dies as of today these could change absolutely they could change in a month I could find something else that's you know what I'm saying all I'm saying is these are my ride or dies right this very moment so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna try not to make this super long so the very first thing is primer I just kind of worked you know with my base face and then like through how I do my makeup and this, if you had asked me this question six months ago, I would have said that the Bioderma Sensi Bio AR was my ride or die. This has replaced that. As you can see, since I got that, I got this, I have used nothing but this. So this is the First Light Priming Filter. I love this because I feel like it, it brightens my face, it primes my face, it makes my foundation last longer. It does all the basic things that a primer should do, but it also brightens my face and just evens everything out. So the Bioderma Sensi Bio AR does all of those things, but it doesn't have this brightening capability. And whoops, <laughs> so I knocked things over. This really does. The backlight priming filter is nice as well, but it just doesn't do the magic that this does for me. I love this. On If I'm having just a bad skin day where I feel like my skin is dull, it, it works great. If I'm feeling like I'm having a good skin day, it's just, it's great. I'll stop now, but I absolutely love that, that Becca primer. All right, so for foundation, my ride or die, and I used it again this morning for the first time in a long time, I actually had to purchase a new one because I've used one up. And I put it on and I was like, yes, this is why I love this. It, this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. There is just something about this foundation. It's a medium to full coverage. There's definitely a glow as the name would imply. It, it doesn't cake up. It doesn't, you can do a couple of different, you know, a couple of coats with it. I have a full um, review on this that I will list below for you guys, but it's just great. It is my go-to. It's my go-to when I travel for a big day. We have a wedding coming up, a family wedding coming up here. This is what I will be wearing for that wedding. I just absolutely love that. So that is my ride or die. I'm, I'm not going to say that a million times. Okay, concealer. So I've been kind of back and forth on this a little bit because... I <laughs> I just have been back and forth a little bit on this, but I'm going to stick with this. This is the MAC Pro Longwear, and I'm not sure I had this on its side. If you can see, this is the third one of these I think I've been through, which is saying a lot for me considering I've been working through the concealers in my foundation, and I keep repurchasing this one. I, what I like about this one is that it covers without getting cakey. It works well for a dry under eye, and it just lasts. It does not fade. It just lasts all day long. I'm comfortable using it on myself. I'm comfortable using it on other people, including brides. I just think it is a, it's just a, it's a hardcore workhorse concealer and I really like it. I've been using the Born This Way now one now for a couple of weeks and I, I kind of am surprised at how much I like that one, but I have to stick with something that I know for sure is a ride or die and that's what this is. So that's what I would say for concealer. For corrector, I don't use a corrector underneath my eyes. What I use a corrector for, and so that's kind of what I'm putting, I'm using this in, in this category. I don't really know where this product fits in a category, so I'm going to use it here. And that's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. This, I've gone through a couple of these now as well, and I'm going to take the cover off of this here. It's just, if you've never seen this before, it's almost like a pudding-like sort of consistency, and this works so amazing. I spot use it on, you know, redness. I've, I've talked about that before, specifically on one side of, of my face or another, I will get these, you know, this redness, and it just covers it up. If I'm trying to work through foundation that doesn't have enough coverage, I use this every single day. I don't have to use it with the L'Oreal, but I use this when I'm trying to work through, or if I just want a little bit of coverage, and, you know, I want to put some coverage on it and then just throw a powder foundation over it. This is just, I can't be without that. I can't be without it at all. I have it in this little sort of kit from QVC where it comes with this brush, which I love as well. But this is the, it's, it's a rockstar product. All right, let's talk about powder. I'm going to talk about um, 
two categories here. So first I'm going to talk about loose powder. I think I'm down to this and maybe one other one. This is the L'Oreal. No, this is not L'Oreal. This is Chanel. <laughs> the Chanel, um, what is the actual name of it? I think it's just translucent powder, but it does have a color. I'm in 20, which is clear, which means light. And I don't use a, a, this sort of powder very often, but when I do, this is the one that I use. And see if you can see, it's just very finely milled and it just really sets without looking, it never looks cakey. I think you could probably, can, you know, powder this on your face for five minutes and I don't think it would ever look cakey. I love this powder. This is, it is my be all end all powder. So powder foundation is something that I use every single day as well. And I, I mean, I thought and thought and thought, and I will say this, I, the Rider Dye products that I chose were products you can still purchase. There was, there may be like a primer that I used to love, like the Guerlain primer that I loved a while back that's discontinued, not available anymore. Um, although I, for the record, I like this one better than that one which is saying something because you guys know if you're if you are if you're ride or die game fans you know the the prime the Guerlain primer that I'm talking about but um so I don't the point of this is I don't have a powder foundation right now that I would say is my ride or die um there is not one that I right this second that I could say if I got rid of all my other ones and had to repurchase this is the one I would repurchase the Burberry Trench 01 is probably the closest, but even that, I just don't know anymore. So I can't, that, and that's what I'm gonna do throughout this tag, is if I don't have a product that really is a ride or day, I, I'll, I will tell you in that there just won't be a product. I have my little list here so that I don't forget. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about is, an, is a loose powder as well. And this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I love this for setting my under eyes. It's, there's just nothing like this. I've done it on camera several times where you can just see the marked difference between the eye that I haven't put powder on and the one that I have. It's just amazing. Because that's the only thing that I'm using it for, it makes the price point of this totally worth it for me. It's a $60 powder but absolutely 100% worth it and it will last for a really long time because that's all that I'm using it for. Before I move on to any color products, I did just want to say my favorite BB cream and it was a toss up. I, I had to sit down and give serious consideration and so I used this one. I used the, so these were the two contenders, the Guerlain BB cream and then the Misha Perfect Cover BB cream. And I went back and forth. I used the Guerlain quite a, you know, for three, four days in a row. And then I use this for three, four days in a row. And I would say that it's this. I feel like it's easy. I was gonna say it's easier to make this look good. Not like the Guerlain doesn't look good. It does really look good. But this is just a little bit more moisturizing. And for me, that's what I need because I have drier skin. I should have said that at the very beginning of the video in case anybody's unfamiliar with me and my skin type. I am 44 years old as of the making of this video. And I have a Sorry, I had to wait for a truck to go by. And I have uh, dry skin. I, I keep it obviously as moisturized as possible, but you know, generally my skin would be considered dry. So I think this, and I use the shade in 21 in this. I just feel like this is just, it's just a touch better than the Guerlain and probably less expensive. I'm not positive, but really, really like that product and happy to redis have rediscovered it. I've worked through one of those already. And then, like I said, I'm just really happy to have rediscovered it. All right, so bronzer would be the next category, and probably not surprisingly to you guys, I don't have a ride or die bronzer. I just talked about this in an Instagram Live that I did this past weekend. There is not a bronzer that I can say, yes, that is my bronzer. There's one that was discontinued um, by MAC. It was a, actually, it was a limited edition, and it was in Aphrodite Shell, and it just kind of has this little hint of mauve to it that works well with my complexion. Uh, and there are other bronzes that I can use and they work and they're okay, but nothing, I just, I just haven't loved anything like I loved that and it's not, you know, it was limited edition. So contour powder, I'm going to go with the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow with this powder right here. I use this for contour. Um, this is a lovely highlight as well, but for this, the purposes of this category, we're talking about this contour powder. Absolutely love it. It's just the perfect contour. It has enough coolness to it and it's light enough that it works really well for me, especially when I want to do just a little bit of a light contour, which all I, it's all I'm ever trying to do. I'm not trying to like, what's the word the kids are using these days? Snatched? I'm not trying to look snatched. <laughs> I'm not trying to chisel any like super crazy cheekbones here. That's what I'm trying to say. So I love that product. 
and I wanted to give a kind of give a category to face palette, my favorite face palette. So a palette that has multiple products. And I definitely went back to the It Cosmetics um, Live Laugh Love Vitality Face Disc. This is just a great, this bronzer I can make work for me. I just have to really be careful and tap it off. But this blush and highlight are just amazing. <laughs> I have no issue traveling. I cut myself this morning, by the way on the little thing that goes in the fruit, food processor. I was putting away the dishes and wasn't paying attention. So <laughs> if you guys haven't seen this, I just I had just Snapchatted about this. They had it on uh, QVC with this brush, which is one of my favorite brushes of life. It's the Radiance Wand from A Cosmetics for a really inexpensive price for the both of them. I, it was a really, really good deal. So I had Snapchatted about that, but this is absolutely my favorite face palette that I own. All right, for blush, I had a really hard time trying to narrow down blushes. Um, I, I really like the MAC Mineralized formula. I like the, that MAC at dusk. I, I, I didn't know how to pick it, how to, <laughs> I just said no. So I, you know, what I ended up doing was going in my collection, really studying, and I picked my top three blushes that are currently available and haven't been discontinued. Um, I specifically didn't pick Tom Ford Frantic Pink just because I've talked that one to death, although that would definitely be in my top. You know what? I probably should have picked top five. But anyway, as of today, um, Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. This is just one of my absolute, and I think what what this boiled down, boy, I, can, I feel like I'm going to hit pan in this pretty soon. Um, that's real champagne. One of the things that kind of makes the ride or die category, in my opinion, is, you know, an every, a blush that I can grab almost every day and it would work with just about every look. The second one is the Becca in Flower Child. <sighs> this blush, it just gives me life. <laughs> it's just, and it, so... So the category, let me back, let me back up to or the criteria for this. Is had, it was a blush that I felt like would work with just about any look. One that really has to last good longevity and just blends in and becomes part of your skin. Um, there is the Becca. Love. I just, I love that blush. And then lastly, this is new this year. It'll probably, not probably, I'm sure it'll be my 2017 favorites. It's the Blush and Party from the Birthday Kit from Sephora. It's a Tarte blush. This is what I'm wearing today, and it's right there. I just, I just couldn't pick one blush. There was just no way that I was going to force myself to do that. Quite frankly, I think I'm just going to do five. I, I was about ready to say, quite frankly, and then something else. And I, the, we're going to do top five. Tom Ford, whoops. Tom Ford Frantic Pink, just right here. And then lastly, I'm going to include this because I just, I love this blush. This is the MAC blush and at dusk. What's funny is that I, I love the mineralized blushes from MAC, but I couldn't nail my, I couldn't nail down just one that I loved. So anyway, we're going with top five blushes instead of just one blush. I hope that you'll allow me to do that because, well, I did. <laughs> All right, for highlight. This is hard for me as well. I have so many, I have some beautiful highlights that were limited edition. Um, but when I think about the one that I'm going to grab every single time, it's going to be a Becca highlight and nine times out of 10, it's going to be Moonstone. And that is what I'm wearing today. This is just, I, I don't know how, I just talked about this, I think in a throwback Thursday, if I remember right. I don't know what they do. I don't know what sort of magic they're putting in these highlights over at Becca, but Lord have mercy. I like this one. I like the one in Opal. There are several, but if I'm, if I had to pick just one, it would be Moonstone. And again, that's what I have on my, it's just, it's fantastic. Again, it's one of those ones where it blends into the skin. It lasts all day long. You can really give yourself some punch with it, or you can diffuse it out and have it just be a little more, you know, kind of light and lovely like this. <sighs> it's my ride or die. Okay, let's talk about brow product. So a brow pencil is definitely my preference. I've gone back and forth and what's interesting is that the two that I have, one being just kind of a regular tipped one and one being a skinny one, um, I don't have either one in my collection right now. As you guys know, I've been trying to work through my brow products and I am on, well, I was on my last one until I got one in a boxy charm that I'm working through. So what, I, what I'm gonna talk about, I do not have on my face today. So 
of the regular size one, it would definitely be the It Cosmetics Brow Power. I just, it comes in universal taupe. I really feel like it's a true sort of universal shade that if you're very light with it, it definitely is a lighter color. If you are more heavy handed, it's a darker color. I really like that every time I wear that one, um, it just... I don't know there's just something about it just works a little bit better and looks a little bit better I went back and forth between that one and the goof proof in case you're curious the goof proof is the one I I had been working through before I started testing the one I'm currently wearing which by the way is the winky Lux from the boxy charm in case you're curious so then for the more skinny one I think I would go with the Anastasia brow Wiz in I think it was medium brown that is, was the shade I used the last time, but that the brow was, there's just something about it that works really well. The L'Oreal one is good as well, but I, I just really feel like if I want, it's just the one where if you, if you have two, both of them in front of you and you've got to pick one, I just really think I would go for the Anastasia Brow, brow Wiz. So that is that. All right, eyeshadow primer. I have a, a primer combo. You guys know this. I've been talking about this forever. Nothing has changed here. And it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I will put that on, let that sort of, you know, set a little bit. And then I go over the top of it with MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which looks like this. Um, if you have a different skin tone, you might use Soft Ochre. What, you know, that's apparently is the one that works for me. And then I usually set that with some sort of a very sheer eyeshadow. Um, like Maybelline Linen or something like that. And that is what works for me and will stop most eyeshadows from creasing on me. So that is hands down 100% my ride or die eye primer. Eyeshadow. All right, eyeshadow. So I decided to break this down into singles, what my favorite singles to purchase are. Um, what my favorite sort of, you know, kind of mini palette or just overall formula is my favorite. And then what is my favorite palette out of my current collection? So my favorite single would be the L'Oreal Infallibles. These are infallible. <laughs> These just work so well. This happens to be Amber Rush. I'm sure you guys have all seen this a million times. I've had this shadow for so long. It is still just as creamy as the day I purchased it. And I just am very, I just, I love it. They are, you know what you're going to get. It's kind of, I feel like these shadows, and I have a ton of them. I just counted. I have 20 of them. And they're like the McDonald's of eyeshadows. And what I mean by that is you know what you're going to get. You can go to any McDonald's in the United States anyway. I don't have a lot of experience with McDonald's outside of the United States. But, and you know, if you go in and order a hamburger, you know what it's going to taste like. You know what it should, you, you know, it's, it's consistent. That's what that's what I feel like these are. Doesn't matter what shade I purchase, I feel like they're very consistent in quality and payoff. Um, next would be my favorite palette in my collection, and the one you know I, I went back. I've gone back and forth between this one and the Urban Decay Naked palette over the years. When people would say, "If I'm just going to purchase just one, what would it be?" And now, hands down, I would say you know, the Laura, the Lorac Pro palette. I say this because I just feel like it has such a good range. Half, half mattes, half shimmers, great lid shades, great deepening shades. It has a great brow bone color. It has a deep brown in it. You guys know that I like that. I just feel like this is, if you are trying to decide what to give somebody who is just getting into makeup and really wants to have some things to play with, I feel like this is, you cannot go wrong with the Lorac Pro. Some of you maybe would have thought I would have picked the unzipped, but nope, nope, the Pro Palette. I just feel like you have more options in the Pro Palette. Okay, so overall formula, and I, I just watched Stephanie Nicole's video again to make sure it's Viseart, I would say is the Viseart palettes. I didn't love the larger ones, like the all matte one, and I think it was just because I prefer to use both shimmer and matte. I don't know that it was a formula thing, or I, I don't really know. All I know is that I ordered this one, which is the is what am I what is on my eyes today? And if I had to pick one of all of these, this is the one I'm picking hands down. I love the amethyst one, but this this just just screams me so much more. And this is the Minx palette, but the the formula. I just look at I just look at these every time I swatch them, and they just blend so easily and make just the prettiest eye look. I'm not sure why I did the I did the vanilla mad that you can't really see <laughs> not sure why I did that but you know I put that that's the dark one and the, the other one so I just thought I would th throw them all on there but there is just something about these shades that these for this formula I should say that just works really well you know for me I know it works for other people as well but 
I think sometimes the right formula depends on your eye shape, how old you are. If you are 20 something and have, you know, no, no hoods at all and the perfect texture skin and you can use a lot of different things and it will still look good and be easy for you to apply. As we get older, that's just simply not the case. And these just work so well. Um, I started with this one and I now have all of them. And I don't love the colors in all of them as much as I love these just because they're not my kind of colors. But the formula in all of them is very, very consistent and I'm just really, really pleased with them. So overall formula, ride or die, the Vizzy Art Palettes. I gotta tell you, eyeliner is the next one and that was really tricky for me for some reason. I don't have one right now, but if I'm talking waterline formula, the Marc Jacobs in Blacker is my go-to. It was Queen of the Nile from Sephora, which is so much cheaper. But my last one, and I heard from a lot of you guys that it dried up and my first one didn't do that and now it's been out of stock forever. So I don't know if they had some kind of a problem or what, but so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what an old standby is and that's the Marc Jacobs liner in Blacker. That works so well for your waterline. I don't have one right now, so that's not what I have in my current waterline. Current I have the julep eyeliner but just really 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 good so overall liner and, and those of you again ride or die gamers <laughs> are going to know probably not be surprised by this but I would say it's the Tarte skinny smolder eyes I just have two here I should grab one in a different shade all right I grabbed a shade that wasn't like a brown but sunstone bronze has been a favorite of mine from that line forever this formula is creamy it blends well it stays well um, it stays in the waterline, but the, the one, I think the black one, which I think is Onyx, doesn't have the staying power as, as much as the Marc Jacobs. So these show up sometimes on Holt Look. All right, so I'll show you. This is Sunstone Bronze. That green one is Azurite Green. And then this one is Moonstone Brown. It's a nice, cool brown. It's just consistently a great formula. No matter what color I pick, choose, purchase, it is consistently a really nice, smooth, easy formula. If you have a little bit of crepiness in your eyes, these will blend over. But as always, I've, you know, I let me. I'm trying to find the brush here to show you. I use the E21 brush from Sigma to blend out every eyeliner. This is what that looks like. I use this Aura, or I will use a angled liner brush, but this is what the E21 brush looks like. I just feel like this is the best for, I'll put down a liner and then I blend it or smoke it out with this brush, but these are just so easy to work with. You generally don't even have to get yourself a smoother line because you've already got it upon application. So love those liners. For the record, they weren't on there that long and I'm trying to wipe them off and I'm gonna have to get out a, a, a wet wipe. I do have one honorable mention in this category, and that is this uh, brown liner from the Rimmel Exaggerate line. It's a, this is a retractable, and this is the one in rich brown. This works amazingly well in the upper water line, stays put, lower water line as well, but this is an honorable mention. This is a, a really great, very affordable. I've not tried the black in this line, which is why it didn't, you know, make it any further than an honorable mention, but I have some blacks I need to work through first before purchasing that, but I am really pleased with that. Okay, okay mascara. I'm smirky because I just don't know anymore, quite frankly. I gotta tell you, before this year, I would have said Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, hands down, ride or die, beyond a shadow of a doubt, you know, there's the, it, it is the best. But I just feel like I've tried some this year that feel like they're just as good, if not a little bit better, than Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. So I want to... Uh, I'm really torn. This is, you can tell this what this, this category is a struggle for me because you know, the, the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash that I also really like has changed. They've changed something about that. I just don't feel like it's the same as when I used to rave about it. So currently, and I'm not through the whole tube yet, so I don't want to go there, but I've been using the Lash Paradise and have really liked that. But, so I, I'm going to, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes is a, it's, it's a go-to. It is hands down one of my favorites. It's a great natural bristle brush on it. The formula works. It's a drier formula, which is my preference. Again, mascara is very personal. I mean, what one person likes, somebody else does not like, and that's just... <laughs> You know, it's just a tricky thing to sometimes review and talk about. But, so that I would say the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes is one that I know if I had to go to, if, if I had to get a mascara and I wanted it to work and look good right out of the, you know, right out of the gate, 
Twilight Lights Camera Lashes. I just really want to give a mention to that Giorgio Armani Black Ecstasy. Again, I've not tried it in the full size. I've only had a couple of sample sizes, but I just was stunned at how good it was. And we'll see how the L'Oreal Lash Paradise ends up, you know, continuing on for me. But anyway, so it's kind of a tricky category because of that. All right, let's move on to lips. I want to talk about um, liquid lipstick. I to find where my other one was. My favorite, hands down, liquid lipstick, beyond a shadow of a doubt, no ifs, ands, or buts, is the Chanel uh, Double Intense. So I have four of these. One of the shades is discontinued. This Deep Rose is discontinued. Light Rose is absolutely my favorite. So if you've not seen these before, there's a liquid lipstick on one end, and then there's a gloss. Um, and the liquid lipstick has a doe foot applicator and the gloss has a brush applicator. I just, I've tried a lot of liquid lipsticks and I feel like there's nothing that compares to these as far as longevity. They don't let my, leave my lips screaming for moisture. They go on very easily. They layer very nicely. Nothing like these. In my opinion, there's nothing on the market that is as good as these Chanel ones. I wish that there was because they are expensive. Let me tell you that. All right, I'm gonna go with favorite lip combo and then we're gonna talk about lipstick a little bit here. So my favorite lip combo, again, not any surprise, is my Charlotte Tilbury lip combo and that's this one. I've just, I have other lip combos that I love and some of the pieces of them have been discontinued. So this one, you can still get all of the pieces and this is the lip liner in Iconic Nude. Again, these are all from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the lipstick in Penelope Pink, which looks like this and then the gloss in Seduction. I don't like the packaging, but this the formula of this gloss is so lovely. I don't have any other ones because I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury here, and I feel like I'd like to see them and kind of swatch them before I purchase some more. So that's what it looks like. Very nice, let me just kind of spread it out. Very, it's, it's opaque, and a nice formula. Stays a, a long time for a gloss. Really, just it's just a great, great formula. The Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in general, I have found to be delightful. And I'm trying to see, I will list here or down below what formula this particular one is. This is my favorite formula. I think it's the K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula. The mattes are nice as well, but this formula I love, absolutely love. They smell nice like vanilla as well. Kind of like cake batter vanilla. Uh, MAC lipsticks are always a go-to for me. The cream formula and the satin formula are my favorites from MAC. But I think overall, if I'm picking one lipstick formula, there are a few others in this drawer, but I'm just going to kind of hold, hold this here. It would be the Pure Color Envies from, from Estee Lauder. These just, they again, they're the McDonald's of lipstick. <laughs> they go on very well. I know what I'm going to get. I'm just going to pick a couple here to swatch for you guys. This is the one in Irresistible. Looks like that. And then I'm gonna pull out one of my minis here in Intense Nude because I just love this shade. I really wanna get this in um, full form. <laughs> in full size, that's Intense Nude. It's not all that different from the other one, but there's just something about the shade, again, with my skin tone and color that works really, really well. Um, but I just, I really like the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick Formula. And if I had to pick one formula to have forever and I couldn't have anything else, it would be the Pure Color Envy. All right, false lashes. I, you guys know I kind of go on and I am obviously wearing them today. I go back and forth of whether I wear them or, or don't wear them and I kind of get in sort of little kicks. But um, my favorite ones, the ones that would be my ride or dies are the ones that I'm wearing now and they're called Lash Name Desire by Esquito Lashes. So this is that brand if you've not heard of them before. And you can see them on my eyes. Here is a picture of the shape of them. I really like lashes that kind of have that you know shorter on the inside longer on the outside and then i just take a little a lash curler to them a little bit to help them you know kick up a notch but really really a big fan of these and then the salon perfects number 53s i don't have any right now but i'm pretty sure that's the the number of them it's a good everyday just add a little bit of volume um lash so those would be you know kind of my everyday lashes but I love these lashes. I've worn them over and over and over again. I think um, they sent me them originally, but this pair, I've purchased these ones and I've purchased some other ones as well. So, and then lastly, but certainly not least, I guess would be fragrance. I feel like there's probably categories here I've missed. My apologies if I missed something really important. It's kind of when you're sitting, I made a list of everything, but you just never know. Anyway, fragrance, if my, my be all end all fragrance at this point in my life is the, and I'm almost out of it, so. 
It's very sad. This is the Hermes Vetiver Tonka. I'll list the notes somewhere in a card down below or something, but it's the Tonka, and I, I love the Vetiver, but it's the Tonka, you know, because I have another one from um, Terry Mugler. I think that's how I say it. That's just in Tonka, and I love that, mixing it with other fragrances, but this one is just perfection. I just love this. It has, it works for day, it works for night. I just I really I love that. And I think that is it. This is probably going to be way longer than I intended, but it's hard. There's a lot of categories to try to be talking about products in each category. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I think I've told you everything that is on my face because I've talked about all of them. So I don't think I have anything to list there. Thanks for your patience in waiting for this tag. Is anybody even watching Ride or Die Takes anymore? <laughs> I don't know, but it was fun for me to do it. Like I said, I really sat down and, and over a couple of weeks tried to put some real serious thought into this. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.